Hello everybody, we'll answer your questions. Welcome to Parachute TV for an early look before the red carpet here in Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard, preparing for the biggest film premiere possibly of all time. Hi, Chicago Bears fan, nice to see you. I'm John Olipin, one of the contributors here on Parachute TV. You're looking at one of the red carpet areas tied to this world premiere event. We're gonna walk around and show you some of the sights and sounds in this pretty remarkable situation right now. Jeff Harvey inviting his followers. Folks, please invite your followers. Let's get a big room in here. We'll take you on a tour of what they're doing ahead of what arguably will be the biggest world premiere of all time. Thank you everyone for inviting your followers. For some context, you're joining us here in Los Angeles on Hollywood Boulevard. Of course, people call it the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You see down here the various stars on the Walk of Fame. On a normal day, it doesn't look anything like this. They have film premieres all the, all the time. You see the Chinese theater right in front of me. Jeff Harvey asking if this goes for blocks. Indeed it does. That's what makes this pretty remarkable. If you guys have ever covered or watched the Oscars here in Hollywood, when they close off Hollywood Boulevard for the Oscars, they block off one block, generally here for this Star Wars premiere, which involves not one, not two, but three theaters here on the Hollywood <coughs> Walk of Fame, Hollywood Boulevard. Boulevard. There are four blocks that are roped off and security is tight. We're gonna walk around. We'll show you some of the security check posts. Thank you for sharing it with your followers. This is definitely something unique taking place right now. Parachute TV is in here. Parachute TV, put up some emojis and everybody should follow Parachute TV. Will come. So for some context, generally this is the zone where the Oscar blocked off red carpet ends. It actually goes for blocks all the way down to La Brea. We're gonna walk towards Highland here in Hollywood. Everybody getting ready for it. Uh, yes, I am John Ehrlichman, as previously stated, but I'll say it again, thank you very much. We're now heading towards the Chinese Theater. Now, if you've been following the news of what's been going on for the last few weeks, thank you so much for everyone inviting your followers. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the people who contribute here at Parachute TV. And by the way, congratulations to Parachute TV for hitting 5 million hearts this week. This is a highly coordinated affair, as we see. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> of course, anything goes when there's a Star Wars world premiere, including that. Yes, if you're not following Parachute TV, help it get to 10,000 followers. This site here, the Chinese Theater, one of the locations for tonight's world premiere, which as I stated, involves not one, not two, but three different theaters, is a location where, there's the Chinese Theater right here. There have been people who have been camping out recently. They've been moved to another location, but they'd all been camping out here. Harrison Ford, ready for the action tonight. They're now just starting to put up the tent outside the Chinese theater. That's something that has developed today. Over the last couple of days, they've been putting up the tarp and the major red carpet for the event. Thank you, Wyoming, for sharing this with your followers. Put up some emojis and get yourself a follow. We appreciate it. So this is the Chinese theater right here. And it's one of the locations for tonight's red carpet. The police presence is incredibly high. There are security checkpoints. It is highly rare for there to be any security checkpoints on Hollywood Boulevard, but tonight there are. We mentioned the Chinese theater. I would love to hook you up with tickets. That's one of the entrance ways up to the Dolby Theater where they have the Oscars, one of the other locations, and across the street, you guys will see. Thank you so much for inviting your followers. Really appreciate it. We work 
over the yard here at Parachute TV to bring you cool scheduled programming every day of the week. Across the street, you'll see the signage above the Yellow Capitan Theater. One of the other locations for tonight's red carpet premiere. As we mentioned, this red carpet is going to be taking people from closer to Highland into three different locations for the, 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 the world premiere tonight. So here's another, oh thank you very much, here's another location so you can see for all those lucky people who get to come to this premiere, they're basically being funneled into three different locations. This is where the Oscars are held here at the Dolby Theater. So this is one of the locations, but we'll continue down this way. And show you. Yes, it is a three theater premiere. Frank, thank you for inviting your followers. So across the street, you see the El Capitan. And this is the Dolby, and we just went past good spots for screen share. So let me show you guys that they're not messing around. There's Freddy Krueger. Better than I thought. These are security checkpoints. This is not to get into a specific event. It is just to get into this area. These are people who are just walking along Hollywood Boulevard. Pretty incredible to see. Say hi to Freddy. Pretty incredible to see this. But they're not taking any chances. There were some reports that Disney kicked in some money. Oh, you're saying you can't film this side, which is actually not correct because this is public property. But you can see that they are on heightened security alert. A lot of LAPD officials who are here right now. There are security checkpoints on the Hollywood Highland entrance side. There are security checkpoints if you were to go to the other side of the street. And again, that's just for people who want to walk around this area right now. I think this is the this is the tightrope Disney has to walk for an event of this magnitude when they want to make sure that people can enjoy what's happening, and yet at the same time, they want to make sure that they're not opening themselves up to any security risks. Again, you guys are looking here at what looks like a space bubble. This is the premier area that stars will be walking through tonight on their way to this three theater premiere here in Hollywood. Thank you for all the hearts, everybody. And by the way, if you want to get full coverage of that red carpet, you should go to StarWars.com starting at 5.30 Pacific time. It's clearly windy here today, so I'm going to try to speak up a little bit. 5.30 East, uh, Pacific time, 8.30 Eastern time. StarWars.com is going to have full coverage through a live stream. It's definitely exciting. Now we're gonna walk back towards one of the areas where they're preparing for the premiere entrance down here. What? Someone is asking about, there's Alex Butler putting up some stars. Very famous Periscoper. Maybe Alex will have her star here on the Walk of Fame soon. Someone was asking about the Star Wars premiere. Uh, it'll be in theaters on Thursday. And tonight is the world premiere here in Hollywood. We're going to check in and see how they're doing with the preparation here at Orange Street. And as I highlighted, guys, this is highly unusual for Hollywood Boulevard. For the Oscars, they block off one block. But this red carpet, we've been walking, it feels like, for hours. And you still have this tented red carpet. It goes four city blocks. Right now, you can see they're getting the cranes ready, camera cranes ready for tonight. Star Wars. 
Wars.com getting ready for tonight. And you can see also here, just for anyone who wants to witness what's going on, large security lines. Yeah, people have to be ready for random searches. They're not going to mess around too much. People being asked for their best chewy. Up until yesterday, you could still walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard. But at this point, because they're really... It's such a coordinated effort to get all these people who are attending this three-theater premiere together. They've now blocked it off. At the start of this red carpet, if we were to continue beyond orange, you'd be able to see that there is actually an opening area where summer would be coming in. So you get the sense that they're going to be doing different entrances for some of the stars to make sure some of the fans at all these different checkpoints can at least get to see someone, someone they're, uh, they're here to see. Thanks for joining. We're in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, on Hollywood Boulevard. We're waiting for the premiere of Star Wars, The Force Awakens. on Wednesday night. Yes, you're right. So the world premiere is taking place right here. Here's one of the theater locations. Chinese theater, which was home to the first Star Wars premiere back in 1977. And of course, as our, our friend just highlighted, Many people in Europe on Wednesday are going to get their chance to see Star Wars. It opens here in the United States on Thursday. And fans just starting to gather. You're asking when they're coming. The, the official start time of the red carpet on StarWars.com will be 5.30 Pacific Time, 8.30 Eastern the difference between the premiere and the official release. Well, tonight, this is an invite-only event, and the film will be opening here in the United States on Thursday. You're quite welcome. We appreciate you joining us here on Parachute TV. We're gonna wrap this up soon, but we wanted to give you a little sneak peek at what will be a very highly talked about event here in Los Angeles and of course on the way to potentially being the biggest film of all time to the point where people are suggesting if this film doesn't make a million and a half at the box office that it could be a disappointment. If you want to see red carpet coverage tonight, check out StarWars.com. Thanks everybody for being here at Parachute TV. My expectations are high. Let's not get too high. Let's take a breath and enjoy the ride. Thank you everybody. Thanks for so much.